Rachie controlled my music today. <laughs> it worked. Wow, the lighting in here. Again, I don't know what to do about the lighting in here. And the curtain being all cattywamp. Okay, I'm kind of scrambling to get here today, <laughs> guys. Um, welcome, everyone. You know, let's not knock stuff over. Let me just fix this because I'm going to let some weird light through. Right, Boosh? Uh, I will turn the ring light on if it looks like we need a little extra light in here let's see let me let me do it now here we go that's a little better you guys you know for anybody who didn't think i was just a real human being with what are you doing with a goofy bird uh a real human being with real everyday life issues say hi say hi to everybody you need to come back over here. There you go. Here I am. <laughs> Stuff happens, as they say. Stuff happens. So I'm over here. I am uh, pulling up my sheet so I know what I'm selling. I'm trying to get some things coordinated over here. Melissa, did you see my little note to you? I've got some amazing moderators who are going to be helping me over in the chat today. Thank goodness, because I feel a little scatterbrained. Um, we had to run, I'm turning the volume down on my phone. We had to run, and I have a, who's calling me right now? Stop calling me. It is not time to call me. Um, we had to run to the fish store and go get our, our water tested on our saltwater tank because we lost our starfish. He, and, and the thing is you don't know a starfish is dead until they start disintegrating, which is a little distressing. So we, we got them out of the tank and everything, but our water levels are all cattywampus. So we had to go get some emergency stuff to put in there. And uh, we flew back here. Uh, threw a little lunch down ourselves, and here we are. Yeah, I know it's so sad. And you know, what's really frustrating is that um, the tank is fairly new in the world of saltwater tanks. So I really, really rely on the guy who services the tank every two weeks and tells me where we're at, what we're ready for, what nutrients are in the water that are gonna support different creatures, and then getting conflicting information from even different people that work at that very same fish store. So we were we were told that this particular starfish would eat um, a little shrimp. In fact, we bought some special food for him. And uh, apparently, no, apparently all of this little shrimp eats is sponges and we don't have sponges. So he starved to death. And I feel horrible about that. But in the process of also trying to get this poor guy fed, we were polluting our tank as well. So it, it was just, it's just a mess. I'm a little stressed out about it. Because anybody who's got a saltwater tank knows it's a really big investment. Like you put a lot of money into all the stuff that goes into getting a saltwater tank, not just the tank itself, but all the creatures, you know, we've been putting in there and trying to find balance and all of that. So yeah, anybody here have a saltwater tank? Anybody in my chat? It's a, it's a very, it's a fascinating hobby. Uh, but there's so much to it and every creature needs this creature and it's all these symbiotic relationships and blah. <laughs> but anyway, after all of that, welcome everyone. Here we are. It is Friday and I have some cool stuff to sell. I have some things you might've seen in the thumbnail that are coming back for a second time because we had some no payers and 
I just got to say, you know, I, I'm just please, guys, if you're not in a position where you're going to be able to pay for the stuff that you purchased today, just please, please just refrain from bidding on it. Uh, because, you know, I can't get that time back that it took to sell that item. So it's 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 hurtful to the entire flow of things to have to go back and resell things that already sold once. It's a it's a slot that I could have sold something different, something new. So um, because a lot of you like, oh, you just resell it. But it isn't because you can never go back and get that time. And time is like the most precious commodity that we have. So uh, just keep that in mind, guys. And the other thing that happens if you do that, you kind of get put on our blocked buyer list and you will not be able to participate. So just make sure that's not happening. The other thing that we need, we need your information. We need your, your name, like your actual real name. And then we need what we call your YouTube name, which is that name that shows up over here in the live chat that is scrolling along. Now, if you are watching this and going to comment and you don't see a place to comment, probably means you're watching the replay. Up here in the corner, it should say, no way. Or is it down here? Somebody tell me where it says live. It's it's up here for me, but it might be someplace different for you guys where it'll actually say live. And you always want to make sure that that says live for you even if you're here in in hearing me right now as i am live if you have like had something happen that kind of disrupted your internet for a minute or something it'll throw you back you know further than where we're at so you always want to make sure you're up and with the live and i see a lot of you have fresh water tanks yeah i was just ready to go for something different i didn't Color me crazy. <laughs> I love it, but it's stressful sometimes. Oh, it's at the top right, which would be up here for you guys. All right. So, um, oh, the live chat is top right. I'm talking about where it actually, there. it should say live, like in a red bar or something. Okay. So, yes, Sharice, you made it to a live. I am here live. So make sure you have sent over your information, which is, as I said, your real name, your chat, YouTube name, and your zip code. Those are the three pieces of information that we need in order to be able to send you an invoice at the end. Now, I do send my invoices out Saturday late afternoon evenings usually uh, because that's usually the only time that I have to like sit and concentrate on that. <clears throat> so look for that invoice to come from PayPal on Saturday evening. Now, just because I use PayPal doesn't mean you have to have a PayPal account. You can pay as a guest and use a debit or credit card, just like you would any other place that you shop online. So don't worry about that. But if you have a PayPal account and you want to use your PayPal funds, you are welcome to do that. Uh, let's see. Make sure you are in live chat and not top chat. I am shipping from Las Vegas, Nevada on the West Coast, and I will ship anywhere in the United States and Canada. That's the only places I can ship to right now. I have a hair stuck to, actually it's an eyelash, <laughs> and it's very much blocking my vision. So I need to uh, clean that off of my glasses. There we go. There we go. I'm going to be able to see now. Goodness. All right. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so, Canada is getting a little pricey. I just want my Canadian friends to be aware. But what I am willing to do is if you just get one or two small items and you want me to hold them until you have enough to make that shipping worthwhile, I'm happy to do that. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Um, what am I forgetting? Oh, yes. Free shipping. So if you spend $60 or more in my sale, I will give you a $15 shipping credit, which does cover almost every situation of shipping. It's very, very few incidents where $15 doesn't cover the shipping. Uh, so 
if you spend $60 or more, I will give you that credit. I give stuff away at the end. So if you purchase something and you are still here at the end, I will be giving some stuff away. And then uh, let's see, I'm looking for my mods to tell me if I have forgotten anything. Keep in mind, we have something called, would you stop doing that ring light? You're just a little possessed. Pick a, pick a brightness and stick with it. It will be good. It's weird. It just adjusts on its own. Um, what was I saying? What was I getting ready to say? I was totally getting ready to say something. Lag. <laughs> oh my goodness. My brain is lagging. Uh, so what, what you hear me say, what I am saying right now, you don't hear me saying yet. To give an example of that, I'm going to say now. Type that in the chat when you hear me say it. Type now over in the chat when you hear me say it. Now, all this time that I'm talking... You haven't heard it yet, but now you hear it. Uh, so that's called lag time. Just keep in mind, everybody has that. And for that reason, I have moderators that call souls and also help keep track of who the winners are. Now, keep in mind also, your name is going to show in a different order than actual real time. So I have a program where I'm seeing the real time very seldom do we get a discrepancy, but then I ask my mods what they see, and then we go with majority rules on that. I do something called just in case. And what that means is if you have been participating in an item and I start counting it down, you can do what's called a just in case bid that works much like a proxy bid wherein that's like the max amount you're willing to go to. And if any of those last minute kind of offers come in uh, because of that lag time, it protects you and, and helps you win an item that you really want and not lose it for like a dollar or two. So we do allow that. Um, okay, I think I think I covered everything. Uh, so why don't we just, oh, well, it would help if I actually pulled up my spreadsheet to see what I am selling. Um, I'm really working on getting to the point where I can do a preview video mm -hmm. of this stuff. I am getting my little spreadsheet made like the day before. So that's my first step. And so since I'm doing that, uh, it shouldn't be hard for me to add a little preview video coming in the weeks ahead. So just had some setbacks here at home. Hey, Mr. Chapter 2 Vintage Co. Aaron, good to see you. Um, I, I, I've had a, a couple little setbacks in my business here, which I'll probably be talking about in my video. So, you know, it's kind of like being in business for yourself is like this, and then it's this, and then it's this, and then it's this. And then it's like, sure. it's never just this and smooth sailing. So you just have to keep that in mind. Roll with the punches, work forwards, and do what you got to do. So with that, let me find the first item. What did I do with it? There it is. Ah! I put it way down low and I'm not sure why I did that because that was really hard to get to. So let me, I put a few things way down low and I'm not sure where I did that. So let me just move some stuff around here a little bit. Okay. That's coming later. That's coming later. All right. I think I got this now. I think we got it. Okay. First item. <laughs> I have this beautiful carved stone heart and it simply has a sticker on the back that says made in indonesia it's got a little schmooze on here that i'll get cleaned off it, it actually had a store one of those little store um bougie really uh security stickers and i got the sticker off but i didn't get the schmooze off so we'll get that off before it ships i also what i i can't reach down there and get you booze you're gonna have to climb up 
Uh, I also um, forgot to bring the measuring tape in here too. So one of these days, I will just get it all together. I, I swear I will. <laughs> oh, is Tiffany in here too? I didn't see you sneak in here, Tiffany. Tiffany and I need to catch up because uh, she's been in crazy, crazy house moving, remodeling mode. So yeah, I, I have a, a, a bird is chewing on my foot right now. Um, dude, what are you doing down there? I cannot have you on my shoulder for three hours. That would get really messy. I know you're a little distressed. You don't want to be down there all alone. Okay. I've got to get the bird put back. You're going to go back in your cage and nobody's going to get to like visit with you. If you don't behave yourself, step up. Come on. Oh my goodness. What, what are we doing today? What, what is it today? Look at, you got a little feather out of place now. You're getting yourself all out of sorts. Would you like to go back to your stand and behave yourself? Or would you like to go back to your cage? Because if you don't behave yourself, you got to go to your cage. And I know that's really not your preference. It's not. I'm trying to crack. I'm trying to crack a pistachio for you uh, with one hand. Anybody ever tried to crack a pistachio with one hand? It doesn't work so good. Step up there. There you go. So let me give a little pistachio to Bougie and get Bougie like settled down here. Do you want this? Do you want this? Is this what you want? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I'm putting the rest in here, Bouge. Look at, I'm putting the rest in here. There you go. Okay, let's try this again. Where are we at? We are at $14 with Gaylene Johnson. Thank you, Rachel, for putting those offers up on the screen for me. Yeah, is Rachel working in the background? All right, $14 going once. It is a stone. I don't know what type of stone, but it is it is stone. Going twice. Thank you, Sylvia. And... We are going to call this one sold. And hopefully no more snags. Oh, I have to catch up on Tiffany's video. We got a parrot hanger, huh? Nice, nice, nice. All right. There is the sold. Nope. Go back, Rachel. The sold is there. Lisa G got it. Lisa G got it for 18. I am so sorry, Gaylene. That is the perfect time to have used like a just in case. Um, because had you put just in case 20, you would have gotten it for 19. That's how that just in case works. But it does go to Lisa G for $18. Oh, Cammie, I am so not in the mood for that today. So um, I would refrain from making those kind of comments because it's been a day. All right. Next, we have a four-piece new old stock. It's still in its original packaging. These are tiger cowrie napkin rings, cowrie shells. You could see. I don't know why they call them tiger cowries. I'm sorry they're not clear because they're in plastic. They're literally brand spanking new in their original plastic. Why do they call these cowrie, tiger cowries when there's no stripes? It should have been leopard cowrie. But that's what it says. Look, I'm not making it up. They're calling them tiger cowries. Uh, so if you sent your information and you got an autoresponder, that means it went through. If you did not get an auto response when you sent in your information, try again. You may have missed the lettering in the email. I've got Puffles 65 at 11. 
we can't, I mean, if everybody who asked me to check, if we stopped and checked everybody's email, we'd never get through a sale. So we will spot check as people start participating. That's kind of how we uh, do some checking. All right, I've got uh, Puffle 65 is at 11, going once. Going twice. And sold. And to those asking how to register, I just read the little scrolling thing right here. Also, my moderators post comments frequently over in the chat as well. Okay, next we have, I thought you guys would like this. We're just starting off with some small stuff. Because um, remember, once you spend $60, you get the shipping credit. So I kind of saved some, a little bit of those bigger items where you might be thinking about the shipping till a little bit later. Uh, so you have a chance to get some fun little stuff and decide how that's going to work for you. So he is a piggy bank. He's actually a piggy bank. He's like a little stoneware. And he's got a little cork mouth. And I just think his little eyes are so adorable. If it'll focus, there we go. There's his little, his little stone eyes. I'm sorry, I promised Rachel that I was gonna slow down a little bit in between items. So Rachel, I'm, I apologize. I'm gonna try to do that for you. I keep Rachel on her toes. Okay. Sonia, just want to make sure that that is for the, the piggy bank. Make sure nobody is lagging behind. Yes, my bad, my bad, my bad. I didn't wait for you, Rachel. You know, just. Oh, limbs on the pink bank. That was a power bid right there for $20 going once yet please let the moderators be the ones who call the sold we have a system and it works really really well we have one person that calls souls going twice and we're gonna call it sold just fixing something on the spreadsheet for you, Melissa, since I know you got your hands full. All right. Oh, you guys. Oh, my goodness. I, okay, Rachel, if you want to take a little break and run downstairs and go get me your latest painting, I will hold down the fort while you go do that. And I will, I will turn the camera off while you bring it in to me. Uh, but I think everybody would absolutely love to see your latest painting. I know Christy would because it's for her. Uh, but if you want to go do that real quick, I will pop things on the screen for you. Okay. Yes, Rachel, it, her last piece of art has me blown away. Just blown away. So. Maybe while she's doing that, yeah, my tape, I don't even know where the tape measure is. That's the problem. That's the problem. All right. Next, we have this little crystal owl who's sitting on this little brass branch of a tree. So he's, he's, he's very, he's very shiny, this little guy. Um, I don't remember seeing a mark on him. Let me just double check. I don't. Don't see any marks. That's just what the bottom looks like. So I don't know who makes them. Okay, I think she's coming in. Let me, I, I'm stopping the camera for one second because Rachel does not like to be on camera. Okay, you're you're safe and sound. Oh, you just scared the bird. Oh, go, go save the bird. She's got to save the bird. The bird is like so delicate with her fear of everything. Make sure you pull that curtain to where it's 
there's no gap. Perfect. Thank you, love. All right. We're back. Okay, you guys. Let's finish the little crystal. <laughs> the ring light just went through again. Let's finish the little crystal owl, and then I'll show you Rachel's piece of art. I know the bird's got to get a grip. I Right? You hear that, Bougie? They're saying you've got to get a grip. Are you looking for Rachel? You love your Rachel, don't you? She's staring at the curtain like, where'd you go? She loves her Rachel. Oh, you got your antique milk picture. Pitcher, it's beautiful. Yay! That's awesome, Margaret. I'm so glad. All right. We are at $18. I wasn't really good about putting things on the screen, was I? I failed after I said I would do it. But Rachel's back at it, so that's good. <laughs> All right. $18. We're going once. We're going twice. And we're going to call him sold. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you, keep in mind, is not for sale. Um, Rachel did this as a commissioned piece. She was sent two photographs and asked to put these two doggies together in the same painting and with a special blanket, which she did. So, uh, Christy... Are you ready for it? Melissa, she's still working on yours too. Yours, yours should be done soon. There you go, Christy. I, and I wish I could pull up and show you guys the photographs that she worked from because when you hold the photographs next to it, like she did such an amazing job of catcher, capturing these doggies. Let's see. Hopefully Christy agrees with me um, that she did a fantastic job. But yeah, Christy, this is this is on its way to you very soon. Very, 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 very soon. It was just finishing drying. Put him over here. Yeah, yeah. Are you are you pleased? <laughs> like she's gonna say if she's not. But yes, I know that your I know that your baby. So I hope uh I hope you love it. Okay, what am I doing next? Oh, another little tiny baby guy. So this is known as a fetish. I don't, why do they call them a fetish? It's little carved animals. It's like a Native American thing, but this one is an owl. I don't know if I can get him any closer to the camera. Here we go. And he is turquoise. So he is a, oh, camera, come on. I have to turn the ring light up so it actually will. But look at the detail. Look at the grain of the turquoise that makes the owl. And he's just a little guy. He's just a little guy, but that's how fetishes are. They're just small little carved animals. Yeah, we're trying, we're trying to work on time management so she has more time to do more of these commission paintings. Um, because they do take her quite a bit of time. So that's one of the things we want to have her put into her Etsy store. Yep. All right. We are at $20 with Roman. I haven't seen you for a while. You know, I was just thinking about you the other day too. Something about Hawaii came up and I was like, I haven't heard from Valerie in a while. So it's good to see you. I mean, it's always good to see all of you, but sometimes there's like a name you're used to seeing every week and then you don't see them for a while. And so then when you see them again, it's like, oh, they're here. All right. I've got Connie at $25 on the little owl fetish. $27 with Reverend Mary Parker. All right, are we ready to count him down? Going once. Go, okay, ring light, you just need to stop. Just stop. Going twice. If it was easier to get in and out of my chair, I would just pop over there and fix it. But I got I have myself kind of boxed in. And sold. 
Road Tripper Thrifter Flipper. That's that's quite a mouthful. I like that name. And Lisa G, just send me an email. Send me an email and um, send a couple different pictures, couple couple different angles of what you want. But it's going to be a little bit because she still has to finish one for Melissa too. She's a little she's a little backlogged. Looks like that is going to Gia Schaefer for thirty six dollars. Okay, guys, I've got to get the uh, possessed ring light to uh, stop power surging on me. Can you stop now? You're gonna stop. You're gonna behave yourself. I think I got it now. I don't know why it does it. It's like if I don't turn it up quite high enough, it will kind of do that power surge thing. So, uh, get myself back in here. Here I am. Okay. Next, I have this cute little fireman wine stop now he's got a little he's wood and he's got a little boo-boo like right right here Let's see if we can get that to uh i keep threatening to get a new webcam and i keep forgetting to order one and he is marked made in oregon whitler's workshop from waldsport waldport waldport oregon and he is a firefighter with the number one on him. I don't think it's really blurry. It may be blurry at certain points where I am trying to do a close up and my camera isn't focusing, but it shouldn't be blurry overall. Ah, uh, you only missed a few. You only missed a few, Julie. All right. Uh, we're working on it. Well, not so much the L. I might have her paint the A. I think I'm going to have her paint the A. Just give it a little contrast from the... I don't know. I might find a bigger... I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But yeah, we're talking about it. But there's just only so many hours in the day. All right. We're at $17 with Puffle 65. We are going once. I see 20 with Gail. We are going twice. Now would be that time to get those just in case in because the next thing I'm going to say is soul. Dum, dum, dum. Yes, Robin, those were sold via email. So, uh, and any of you, if you ever want to purchase something from a video, I have instructions up in the description of every single video that tells you the information I need. And so you just email that over to me and you can purchase things right from the video. You don't have to wait for it to show up in a live sale because a lot of times it might not. There are certain items, like if I get a lot of people want the same item, those I will, to make it fair, I will put those in a live sale. Um, still trying to find, honestly, I'm getting ready to really ramp up eBay so that things get listed fairly quickly from when they come in the door too. So it's just trying to find the balance of all of that. Phyllis, say, I did not get them into this week's sale. Didn't get them into this week's sale. I'm, I'm trying to put together like an Easter sale. Easter sale. Yes. So if you have a blurry screen and nobody else does, that's probably an internet issue on your part. Like your in stream is having trouble with whatever bandwidth it's taking. Make sure you have other applications closed. Um, if you've got a bunch of other people in the house that are on the computer or you have TVs on that are taking from the internet, from the whatever Wi-Fi or stuff you have, that can cause your screen to be blurry. But it's, I'm looking, I can see my broadcast 
um, image, so to speak, right here. And it's not blurry. I can tell when it goes blurry. Trust me. I'll see when it goes blurry. Yeah. I do not use Snapchat. I do not use Snap. I use Instagram and um, Facebook. But I really, I you know, I have a lot of trouble getting to all of the private messages people try to send me. And I struggle with it because I, I don't want to be rude. I don't want to feel like, uh, I don't want anybody to feel like I'm, you know, so good that I don't need to answer messages. But honestly, it's a lot of time to go to all the different places and answer messages. So I have to really keep to my self-discipline on the amount of time I spend in each location answering messages. That's why emailing me is always best because I actually have somebody to help me keep up on that. So Carrie helps make sure that all the emails get read and responded to and all of that. So that is way better than messaging me in some of the other social media platforms. Okay, next I have this gal who I wasn't quite sure uh, what she was. I'm, I mean, I'm calling her a perfume bottle, but she may not be. She may be like a diffuser. Uh, it is signed 1996 UDC. And I don't know if that's, I think it's just UDC. I don't think there's an I on the end. You guys tell me what you see there. See, now it's blurry. It's definitely blurry right now as I'm trying to get it. There we go. Trying to get it to focus. Yeah. 1996 UDC. It is a stone. Like it's a carved stone. And uh, she's just like a winged goddess of some sort sitting there with this little glass receptacle that, and it may have had a stopper or something at one point, but this is how she is now. So you could put a little flower in there or you could make it a diffuser. I don't know why you couldn't because um, it is glass inside of there. So there she is. There she is. All right here. Do we have any interest in her? Oh, is, is somebody a little behind? Oopsie. Somebody's a little behind. I don't even see anything coming through. Oh, now I see it. I gotcha. Good call. I am meeting with Mikey Bags of Money. So yeah, I wanted to put that out there. I am going to be live on Mikey Bags of Money channel tonight. We are going live from what they call First Friday here in Las Vegas. It's like it'll be a whole bunch of vendors selling all different kinds of crafts and stuff, um, including, um, and I'm like, I'm kind of saying this to Tiffany, uh, Crystal will be there who sells the remade Pyrex jewelry. So I'm going to really make sure and make sure you guys see her really cool stuff on camera. Um, but I think we're going live. What Mikey about 7 PM, about 7 PM. Carrie's going to be with me and sunny Las Vegas says he's showing up too. So you never know who else is going to show up. You never know. Could I show it over? What do you, what do you mean, Warren? You want to see all the other sidey sides? Oh, closer. Get a little closer. Now don't be shy. Here she is. I'm sure it's a replica of some famous sculpture. So where are we at? We're at $8 with Jill. All right. Going once. I know I got to get my caffeine in me, Mikey. Got to get my caffeine in me. Those who know me know that at like by nine o'clock, I'm like vegging on the couch. So <laughs> going twice. And I see right now it's with Gaylene. We are going to call it Soul. All right, last minute stuff coming in. You can't tell what it is. Um, what do you mean you can't tell what it is? Is I, I 
I can't really tell what it is either. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I could convince her to uh, go live with me when, when she gets settled. Yes. All right. Going to Natalie. I'm not sure how to say your last name, Natalie. So we'll just leave it at Natalie R for $10. Someone can put the link for Mikey in there. Absolutely. I think, Mikey, haven't I made you a mod? Aren't you a mod where you can post your link? You're welcome to do so. If not, I need to do that. Okay, I've just got this little piece of sterling silver. Um, it's a really, I was looking for something to go with it, but I thought, you know, somebody can come up with something creative to do with this. It is blue on the inside. It's a, this is little like a liqueur cup. Uh, it is marked Gorham Sterling, and it says 955 on the bottom there. As you can see, Gorham Sterling, 955. Whoop, come back. And it's just this one little dainty here. You want to see what sizes it is? There we go. We'll give it a little reference with my Dr. Pepper can. Just a single little Gorham Sterling goblet. I go live on Mondays. Yep. I go live on Mondays at 1 p.m. Also, I'm always at 1 p.m. on Fridays and Mondays. Just got to remember that 1 p.m. Pacific time. I go live. Yep. Yep. It would be adorable with an air plant or um, a little candle maybe could fit in there. I don't know. All kinds of little creative things you could do with it. I know, Bougie's, <laughs> Bougie's, he's kind of behind one of the branches and blending with the curtain. Yes, you heard his name. All right, I see $18 with Gia. 18 is with Gia. There we go, going once. I see Mary at 20. Going twice. Oh, that's right. This Monday is exciting. I'll talk about that in a second. And we're going to call it sold. Yes. This Monday. Thank you for reminding me. This Monday, I will be live thrifting. And you guys can shop. Um. Live thrifting from Dog Junkies Thrift Store is what I will be doing on Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me that was coming up. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So right here on the channel, I will be live thrifting. And the super cool thing about it is they are only opening the store to me. They're closed Sundays and Mondays, but they're opening the store for me to come in and go live and shop with you guys. So the only people who are going to be able to go shopping on Monday are my viewers, uh, which is really, really fun. So that's happening Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So be sure. That's another good reminder. YouTube has been doing this thing where they're unsubscribing people and they are also changing your notifications. So even if you're still subscribed, check your bell notifications. They may have set you to like custom or taking the notification off altogether. So make sure your notification is set correctly so that you don't miss it. All right. The winner was uh, 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 Lois, Lois Egan for $28. Nicely done, Lois. I'd love to know what you use that for too. I would love to know how you utilize that item. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Next is a choice. You can, and it's the same item. You're just going to be able to buy one or two, just in case you didn't want them both. So these are uh, Mickey Mouse shooter marbles. Now, what I will say is one is a little more faded than the other. So let me show them both. Your offer is for just one of them. Okay, so the amount is for just one. If you decide to take them both, it would be times two. So there you go. And we're going to just... Distinguish them. Um, this this one, 
you can see the Walt Disney and this one you can't. So we'll just clarify. I'm going to assume that uh, whoever's the winner is going to pick the one where you can read the Walt Disney first. But they are Mickey Mouse, Shooter Marbles. And it's Connie. Can you verify that you are on the Mickey Mouse marble? Just want to make sure. If we want something, do we just put it in the comments when you're shopping? Yeah, yeah. So it'll be a live chat just like this. So you're going to, and I'm going to have people monitoring the chat so that if you want something that I can grab it while I'm there and you can buy it from me right there. Kind of like this, but a little different because <laughs> I have no idea what's going to be there. Oh, hey, Brenda. I've been thinking about you. All right. I've got Connie at 16. Remember, it's for just one. One Mickey Mouse marble. It is shooter size. All right. I'm at $16 with Connie going once. Yeah, Christy, she's talking about on Monday. I know it's going to get a little confusing if I talk about both. Yeah, we'll be shopping the shelves on Monday. Oh, you can see Bougie now. Yeah, Bougie's back there. <laughs> Going twice. And we're going to call it so. CC, I'm going to be at a thrift store. They price the stuff. I don't. So you're going to you're going to see the prices as I show stuff. And there's my sold. I see a just in case from Connie, which makes Connie the winner at I think $23. $23 to Connie. All right, Connie, did you want one or two? One or two, Connie. And then my backup would be Carol for the other one. Just got to wait for Connie to let me know if she wants one or two. No, no. Monday is just, I'm just thrifting. Just a live thrifting. It's not like my sale where I have like control of, you know, starting something at a dollar or anything. Nope. It's a like you're going to see the prices that I see as if I was shopping at the thrift store and you will have the opportunity to tell me what to buy if there's something that you want. Okay. So you want the one that still has that. All right. Uh, Carol, did you want the other one? And if Carol says no, next in line would be, oh, wait. Yeah, Lynn would be next after Carol. She wants it. Okay, you got it. The Mickey Mouses are gone. Okay, next I have a pair of, these are really interesting. These are cast iron teacups, Japanese teacups. They are cast iron. Uh, which I thought was quite interesting. I'm sure they at some point had a matching teapot, like one of those, um, uh, what do they call them? They call them um, Tetsuban? Tetsu? I, know, I know how to spill it. I don't know how to say it. Cast iron teapots. But I just have the pair of the two, the pair of the two. That was not very good English. I have a pair of, or I have two of these little cast iron cups. They've got some weight to them. I, I will say they do have a little bit of weight to them. I would say together, they're getting close to a pound, close to a pound for both of them. I'd say, you know, a good seven, eight ounces each is how heavy they are. Yeah. Quite interesting. Quite interesting. You're getting the pair. You're getting them both. And we are at $10. $11 with Puffles 65. We have $11 in the pair of the cast iron Japanese teacups. 
$12 with Virginia. Dondi, I just want to make sure that you are offering $20 for the pair of the teacups. Uh, I see 22 with bubbles. You guys like these. Ah, oh, okay. They might be bronze. Well, they got a little, look at, they've got this golden stuff to them. Pretty sure they're cast iron though. And not bronze. I mean, cast iron would be cheaper than bronze. So if they end up being bronze, it's even better. But I'm calling them cast iron. So there. They could be. They're pretty thick, though. All right. I'm at 25 with John D. Let's count them down. Going once. Going twice. They're not brass, definitely not brass. And we're gonna call them sold. Mm -hmm. And let's see what happens. Looks like there's my sold going to Puffles 65 for $31 on the Justin case. 31 on the Justin case. Thank you guys. All right. How about we do a little music box? Now this little guy has some scratching right here on the wood front. Actually it's front and back. I think that's simply from somebody holding it while it was being wound because it is a wind up. There we go. Oh, it's um, it's the carpenters um, close to you. Suddenly, I can't ever. This is not my key. <laughs> Just like me, they long to be close to you. So the little porcelain guy. Um, is fantastic. No chips, no cracks. It's just the wood has some wear. It is made by, let's see what it says there. Made by, sometimes the glasses just don't work. Something, Arnart, Arnart Imports, made in Taiwan. So it is vintage. Yes, Melissa, that's the word I was trying to say. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Yeah, some of some of you know, I actually used to have a country band. Used to have a country band. All right, we're at 20, let's see, 21, 22 with Puffles 65. 23 with Pamela. I know the baby. The baby is everything. Get little baby under there. Just waiting for some waiting for some dinner. <laughs> Penguins are very, very good parents. 26 with Marsha. Oh, isn't that funny, Robert? You were playing that the song done by Richard Carpenter on the piano just a couple hours ago. Gina is at 30. I've got Gina Gaines at 30. Oh, Julie. <laughs> we are at $30 going once. Going twice. Oh, that's very cool, Shauna. And so it was a very popular song of its time. Home Free Country Vocal Band. Okay, I'll check that out. There's our sold with the penguins. Uh, let's see, we got some just in cases came in. Marsha's just in case was 36. Making her uh, 
price $33 because we had a 32 come in as well. So $33 to Marsha Rodstall. Okay, so here we go. This is another choice for quantity because I have six of these. I have six of these fun three-dimensional owl mugs. I don't, I, they're all sitting over here. They're all exactly the same. And uh, they're by the Mulberry Home Collection. Hand wash only, not for microwave use. Um, I've just, I mean, I've got two of them here. They're all the same. So you're really, your choice is how many do you want if you are the winner? And then we will try to find homes for all of them. His beak is so thin, you can't ship it. Oh, pool noodles, pool noodles. Pool noodles are fantastic for stuff like that. All right, that was my aquarium guy <laughs> getting back to me after my very, very stressful morning. I'll just peek what he's saying. Oh, goodness. Okay. All right. I'm at. I have seven. Let's wait. Huh? Oh, did I boo boo? One, two. No, I only have six. My bad. Let me, let me erase one. Do I have one, two, three, four? You're right. Yep. Late night putting the catalog together. Only six. I only have six. Oh, the starfish is dead. Starfish is gone. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, uh, what happens when a starfish dies is they start disintegrating and they will foul up your water really bad. So, yeah, he's not going to be in a live sale, but he's available for purchase, Robert, if you email me. What happened? Oh, the starfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So remember, if you want more than one, it's it's each. It's going to be times the money on the owls. So are you, let's see. You guys like the owls. Oh, you meant to say 10. Okay. Thought so. All right. I've got. Sonia at 15. Sonia at 15. I've got, are you guys on the owls? I just worry when I see the, the offers jump like that. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Remember, if you want more than one, it's times the money. All right. We're going once. We're going twice and we're going to call them sold. And let's see how this ends up. The lag. Got to wait for the lag. Okay, Trendlin, you are the winner. Did you just want one or more? You can have up to six of them. Just let me know how many you would like. And my backup is going to be Barb Lee. If Trendlin doesn't take them all. And I have to wait for the lag for you to hear me having said that. So if you are participating, be on standby to let me know how many you would like. Bougie's there. Bougie's right, right there. <laughs> okay, Trendlin takes one. So now uh, Barb Lee. 
You are my backup. How many would you like? And after Barb is go going to be Sonia. And after Sonia will be Sue Janoski. Barb takes one. Okay, I've got four left. So next we go to Sonia. I have four left. They're $22. Let me know if you would like one or more. And Sue, let me know. Sonia takes one. I have three left. Uh, Sue, would you like one also? Let's see if Sue is in. It's $22. It would not be fair to sell them cheaper to the backup offers if somebody you know is at that other price so what happens if, if they don't all sell i will hold them over for another sale another day but anybody anybody can play now if anybody wants one for 22 dollars now's the time to let me know there are two there are three left if sue doesn't take one Yes, you can, Trendelin. You absolutely can. So Trendelin takes two. I'm not hearing from Sue. Does anybody else want one? I have two left. There are two left. If anybody else wants one, I'm watching the chat. <laughs> not meaning to be rude. Not looking at you guys. It's just I'm watching that chat. I don't want to miss anybody. And I got to wait for that crazy lag. Shauna wants one. I have one left. Who wants the last one? And Ann Nunez. All right, they're gone. They're gone. Thank you, guys. Thank you for giving them a good home. So I've got some frogs. Uh, they are coaster. I, I could not find any exactly like these. Now, I called them stone. Uh, but now I'm looking at this thing and it kind of looks a little more like resin, but it feels like stone. I'm confused. So here's the holder. Here's the holder. And then here's the coasters. And they're like, they're textured almost, they're not, what do you call it when they're not puffed out? Because obviously that wouldn't work for a coaster, but you can feel them. So they're kind of engraved is that the right word uh they're all the same as you can see they have the cork backs on them they're in really super good condition i'm not sure they've ever been used i'd have trouble sitting a cup on top of them like that uh, but this is what i guess stone can have kind of that striation too but it's cool to the touch uh, and it's got some weight to it, which leads me to believe it's stone versus resin. But look at this guy. He sticks out from the little holder and the back has the leaves too. Super detailed, super cool. And then they sit like so in your little, in your little holder, just like that. I've got Trendelin at 25. I think Trendelin's already earned that uh, $15 shipping credit. <laughs> I've got 30 with Trendelin. Recessed, is that? Hmm. Sometimes it's like words just don't sound right for something, right? We're at $30 with Trendelin. Going once. Going twice. I do believe they are tree frogs. Yes. And we're going to call it sold. It doesn't feel like soapstone. No. A soapstone's like smooth and waxy. This is not smooth and waxy. 
There, is that sold? Uh, going to Linda, is that an I? Imbus, Linda Imbus. All right. Let's see. What's next on my list? Oh, you guys might remember me buying this. Now, I am leaning toward this being by Andrea by Sedeck, but it's not marked Andrea. I just have found similar shapes uh, and it has the feel of that, but it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous blue uh, that I thought you guys would like this plate. Plate, dish. It's not really a plate and it's not really a bowl. So that makes it a dish, right? <laughs> It's just got a number on the back there, 7615, and it is the uh, chrysanthemums, I believe is what that would be on there, with these really, really pretty blues, just just really pretty. I, I know I say that. It's like when you, whoever wins this, when you get it and you open the pack, you're going to go, I get what she was saying now, because I sometimes I don't think my lighting shows just how pretty some of these colors are and see it's got the gold kind of highlights in it and it just kind of sparkles so there you go i am at 18 dollars with susan 18 with susan 20 with resourceful jill zinnias i think the the um um, wow, my brain today, the, the typical Asian flower to use is a chrysanthemum. I don't know what the significance of that is. Um, but I wish I had, I wish I had a tape measure. Let's see. I'm going to use a piece of paper that's eight and a half by 11. So it looks like it is about eight inches. Looks like about eight inches square based on an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper. I just measured it with. Oh, is there an issue with that last? Now, remember comments come through on a little bit different order. Nope. Hers was after the sold. Sorry, multitasking, guys. All right, just catching up on what's going on over here. All good, all good. The multitasking kind of thing. I used to be able to like keep talking and multitasking at the same time. And I have trouble doing that now for some reason. All right, we're at $35 with Adriana. Um, Adriana, did you send your email? Because I'm not finding it. And I just want to make sure if you are the winner that we're able to get a hold of you. Now I don't I don't see your email. Um, so we really can't have you be the winner if we don't have your information. Uh, so I'm going to go back and let's see, Donna, I believe I have yours. Guys, that's why it's important. Don't wait until you see something that you want. Yeah, I have Donna. So um, we will call Donna the the high offer right now um, because we don't, you, you have to send that email in order to participate. Zinnias, that's the flower. I was like, I got so sidetracked, guys. And then the gold ones look like chrysanthemums. I just don't really know my flowers that well. All right, now I've got Becky Thompson. Rachel used to be able to check the uh, emails for me while we were going, and she is busy putting those offers up on the screen. So I got I to gotta multitask. All right, 35 with Brandy. 
I was trying to give Adriana a chance to get her email in is what I was trying to do. Let me just see if she sent it. Still don't have it. All right, we're going once. We're going twice. And we'll call this one sold. And I will place that that over there safely. And Adriana, did you not hear what I said yet? Because <laughs> I see you're still in there. What'll happen is we'll have to time you out so you can't comment. Um, if, if you're not hearing what I'm saying. Okay, you've got to send the email before you can place any more offers, please, please. Because it's not fair. It's just not fair to everybody else who's already sent that information in. All right, the winner is uh, Becky Thompson. Becky Thompson is going to do that because I do not have Adriana's email, so... Okay, so Adriana, if you want to participate, you've got to send the email registration that has your real name, your name as it shows up over here on the chat, and your zip code, or we cannot take your offer. That applies to everybody. We can't take your offers until we have that information because it we just have no way to contact you after the sale. That's why we do that. All right, let me see what's next. Oh, let's stay on a frog theme here. How about a cute little, they call this majolica, uh, is the common term for this type of pottery. Look at, look at this little guy sitting right here. He's sitting on the rim there, looking all cute. And it's got a little basket weave and it's got a little flower up here that runs down. There's the bottom. He's just a cutie, just a cute little single frog planter and that's just a little dripping of the glaze that is not a chip it's just his little glaze drips nope you don't you only have to send it once don we uh, store them in a folder that's why i'm able to go in there and just do a quick check in my email and if it's there then you're good to go trendlin likes this one all right we got a 25 dollar power offer going once because that's what I like to do. You guys do that that power offer. I like to honor it. Hey, a rural squirrel. Thank you. I picked the wrong color though because it blends with my bird. <laughs> Going twice. I, I we'll call him. We'll call him a frog. We'll call him a frog. I mean, if you like toads better, then you can call him a toad. <laughs> And we're going to call him Sold. He can be whatever you want him to be. Oh, uh, Bougie was afraid of the curtain at first. We had to work with Bougie and the curtain because the curtain moves and the curtain's scary. Anything that moves is scary. <laughs> like... <laughs> All right, Trendlin had that just in case in there that makes it $37 to Trendlin. 37 to Trendlin. I'm not even sure how well birds see color. What do you think, Rachel? Can birds see color? Rachel knows more about all of that stuff than I do. Hey, Deborah. Good to see you. Okay, this is being resold from a couple weeks ago because I had someone who decided not to pay. This is a John Price and the glaze is crystalline is what this is called. It's a really interesting glaze and John Price is known for it. It's blues with kind of like a, it's a deep avocado green with some gold flecking throughout really neat vase and then you can see it is signed on the bottom there Oop, let me put it right side up there you go you can see the signature there l-733 
Uh, let me guesstimate the size of this one based on my trusty piece of paper. It is about eight inches tall. There you go. And we are at 22 with Brandy Hudson. It is beautiful. It is. What did it go for last time? Let me, let me see if I can find it again. I might not be able to that quick. I'm going to try though. It's figuring out which sale it was in. Oh yeah, it sold for $60 last time. $60 is where it went last time. So let's see where we go today. Oh, did, did she answer? Did Rachel answer? I'm looking. Birds can see more color than people can. What? Well, maybe that's the thing that's scary then is they see it much more vividly. Who knew? Who knew? Well, that you're right. You're right, Bree. They use their color to attract their mates. So that would make sense. You are correct. Yeah, yeah. Good to know. I've got 31 with Tammy Kennedy, 31 with Tammy. Nope, I see 32 with Becky, 35 with Carol, a master's in hummingbirds. I've got to get my hummingbird feeders up badly. I'm like, I thought I had all this time to prepare for spring and spring is here in Las Vegas and I'm not ready. <laughs> Next week, we have so got to get the uh, outdoor tortoise pens finished because they're going to be waking up soon. I do not have two of these. I do not. This Somebody didn't pay. So it got one for $60 um, two weeks ago, two sales ago. We did not, we did not write down who was the, the person, uh, the under offer. So... Here we are again with it. I've got uh, Natalie for 44. Natalie for 44. Are we all in our all done? Birds are fascinating. Birds are fascinating. They really are. Fish are fascinating too. Like that aquarium and like, it's so complex, the all the little stuff that goes on in that little community. I mean, love it. Love it. I get to start my mushrooms and yeah, if I can just find some time now. All right. Did I say, did I say going once? I'm losing my mind. But I did. Okay. Let's just going once. <laughs> Remember $5 increments after 50 going twice. And we're going to call it sold. Hi, Maria from Orange County, California. Where in Orange County? I grew up in Orange County, California. And let's see how it's ending up. There's my sold. Natalie, you are going to get it for $60. $60 to Natalie. Is it, is it Robillard? Rob I'm, I'm going to attempt it. I'm going to attempt it. All right. Oh. Trendlin, I'm so glad you are here today. I, I wasn't sure whether to just send you a picture of this one. I know Trendlin is gathering elephants. So we have an elephant teapot. Um, just checking it over. I like to check things over, even though I've checked them over, just checking over. Yep. No, he's pretty perfect. He is made by dash of that is the maker on this little guy. His, uh, his little lid is attached with just a piece of string for some reason. I don't know if it came that way or somebody did that after. So I left it on. It could easily be taken off. But there we go. We've got the elephant teapot by Dash of That. The Dash of That teapot. Oh, Hacienda Heights. Okay, so when I did real estate back in the uh, late 80s, late 80s, 
Hacienda Heights was my area. I canvassed Hacienda Heights door to door. And for those that don't know, Hacienda Heights is literally up in the hills and there is no like just go door to door. It's like up driveways, down driveways. Like I was, I was hardcore. <laughs> But um, yeah, I love Hacienda Heights. I also, okay, let's see. For those of you, for the, for the, for the 650 some people here, you get to learn a little, little one of Danny's dirty secrets. So uh, Hacienda Heights is where I got caught with a boyfriend. <laughs> we weren't doing anything that bad, but I was a minor and uh, the police came and tapped on the window. I was like, does your mother know you're here? <laughs> like, yes, of course. <laughs> ah, the memories. Ah, the memories. From Italy. Welcome from Italy. And from England. Welcome, all my international friends. The maker is dash of that, which I have upside down. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. I got Trendlin at 34. We're going once. We're going twice. I know, Rachel, close your ears. <laughs> Why do chat bids not coincide with the live on your end? Try refreshing, Rini. Try refreshing. And we're going to call it sold. Yeah, I think this was back in the day where they didn't really ask that. They just were more about, does your mother know you're here? All right, get in there, little elephant. There you go. And I see my little elephant sold. Trendlin is going to get that. I think you didn't need your I don't think you need it. Nope. $34 to Trendlin. Yay. Okay. I don't know the origin of this little guy, but uh, I thought he was too cool to pass up. He is a bottle made in the shape of like a Tudor mm -hmm. cottage type house is what I want to call it. Cause it's got the little, you know, poofy window thing. I don't know what you call it. Uh, and you can see the bricks. It gets very detailed. There, this is called a straw mark. This is made at the time of manufacturing and the cooling process. I do believe it's an older piece. It is pressed glass. It's got a very wide opening. And I think when I was researching, ah, I can't remember what they said, the wide opening of the bottle meant. Does anybody know? Like there's a significance to the wide opening versus like, um, it's not like oil because that would have a narrow opening. The bottom doesn't really have too many clues. There you go. But I just thought it was interesting. Reminds you of the Weasley's house, the Burroughs in Harry Potter, skinny tall house. Oh, oh, well, there's that. Well, there is that. There is that. Could be a vase. I mean, it could definitely be used as a vase. I, I mean, that's what I would use it for, you know, going forward. But I will try to figure out what this stuff was. Like, what was its history? So... Brooke Shields shopped at your yard. That's right. Brooke Shields did live up there. I forgot about that. Forgot about that. A bay window. Thank you. Thank you. I got Katerina at 17. I've got Laura at 20. Sorry, guys, I am double checking a couple things. Let's 
Stand by. Stand by. Looks like it would have had a large flat cork stopper. I think so. I think so. All right. We're at $24 with Becky going once. That is correct, Don. You only just have to send that info in and we store it so that, you know, if you're watching and all of a sudden you see something come up that you would like to make an offer on, we already have your info. A nut jar with a cork. Going twice. See, 26 with Carol, and we're going to call it sold. It's really adorable, really super adorable. It's stumper jar. You <laughs> got everyone stumped. Yeah. And let's see. We got some just in cases came through. So it is going to Laura Moon Woman. For third, oh, blip, 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 hold on. For thirty-one dollars, thirty-one dollars to Laura Moon Woman. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, guys. All right, let me show you what I have up next. I have to stay in order now that I actually like created the catalog and trying to keep myself straight. Where'd you go, oh. little angel? Here you are. We have. Mm -hmm a cobalt blue glass angel with clear wings and her little head and her halo are clear. Does she have a venturine? This one does not have a venturine in her halo. Sometimes they do. She does not. And it looks like she's got a little heart here or she's just holding her hands in prayer. I don't know. You guys tell me what she's doing with her little hands there. There's what we got. There's what we got. And here is the bottom. So she is not Murano. You can tell that by the cloudy base of this glass. Murano will be clear all the way through. So she's just a pretty little angel. It's a pretty little angel. My phone keeps buzzing at me because somebody tried to call and my phone will not let me ignore the fact that somebody tried to call. So there, we have to clear that. Okay, okay. We're at 37 with Debbie. 37 with Debbie. Forty-five with Debbie. You like her. Tracy is at forty-seven. Tracy's at forty-seven. We're gonna start counting this one down. Forty-eight. We're at fifty. Going once. I got Tracy TNT at fifty. Remember, we're five dollar increments. Nope, I got Tracy first. There you go, Rachel. I said going once. Yes, going twice. <laughs> One of these days, I'll figure out how to do this. <laughs> and we are going to call her sold. Oh, my gosh, Michelle. Uh, thank you. I meant to give that update. I will give that update. So, uh, no, <laughs> I have not gotten my butter dish from the Hadley Pottery Company yet. And I once again contact, it's really funny because I go to their website, I pull up my order. It still shows unfulfilled, no other communication. Um, so I fill out their customer support form and let me just Tracy snuck in there for the $60 just in case. You got her. You got her, Tracy TNT. Um, so I they say, what is your preference, email or phone call? I say email because I like things in writing. This is the thing. 
I want them to put it in writing. I don't want a phone call, but nope, they called me. And it's the same little old lady every time who just keeps telling me. So this is the story this time is that let me show you the next item. And so you guys can be um, working on this item and I'll tell you because it's it's a, it's got some details to it. All right. The next item up for offer and it's got some extra dust on it that I'm <laughs> just noticing. Uh, this is a mid-century sailboat of brass and stone and it is by DeMott. DeMott does the sailboats there so it is signed. It's one of his pieces. So I'll let you guys uh, be making your offers on this and I'll tell you the rest of the Hadley pottery story. And for those who may not know, I ordered a butter dish from, directly from the Hadley Pottery website because I can't find it anywhere else. I ordered it on December 9th and they said six to eight week delivery because they hand make every piece. Okay, I'm, I'm good with that. So at the seven week mark, I hadn't had any communication. And so I, Rachel, are you still with me? Are you keeping up on things? <laughs> okay, there she is. Um, so I, um, I put in a, a request for like, where's my order? And I was told that the bottom was done, but the top was not, and it was gonna be another two weeks. So I waited another, three weeks and I contacted them and I got told that what is happening is that they, they are not able to get the tops to come out of the kiln, right? Like they literally put like 60 in at a time and they just haven't been happy with them. Now I find this a little hard to believe because that would mean they're not selling any butter dishes right now. Like they haven't had any butter dishes go out. I, I would think about the third time that, that happens, you try to figure out, I mean, this is a professional pottery place. That's a lot of waste. So I something's not adding up for me, but she says it'll be another two weeks. So I got to wait another two weeks, but they're supposed to call me Monday when the next batch of lids comes out of the kiln and uh, she'll let me know if they've got a workable lid at that point. So I don't know. That's That's what I've been told. Oh, what are you guys laughing at Rachel about? What's she doing? What's she saying? What did I miss? I'm too busy. I'm too busy, you know. All right. What am, what am I missing? Um, I always try to do my best. Did I upset somebody again? I don't know what I missed. My mods can fill me in. Hadley's been around a long time. Uh, that's the thing. This is not a new pottery company. This is a very well-established company. Oh, she said she was listening to the story and forgot her job. <laughs> it's all good. I do that too. It's all good, Rachel. Oh my goodness. I don't want my money refunded. I want, I cannot find this butter dish anywhere else. That's the thing. If I could find it on the secondary market, I would happily do so. It doesn't exist anywhere. I have looked. I have searched everywhere. You can't find it. It's the one with the turtle on it. Of course. Yeah, I really want the butter dish. I really, really want it. Well, I, Deborah, I think that's the issue is that for whatever reason, the tops maybe aren't fitting the bottoms correctly and they're not happy with them. And yeah. Yeah. They told me that last time that I was at the, you know, kind of like at the, the back of the line because I'd gotten a discount. Yeah. Yeah. I think they know I'm not messing around now. All right. We're at 65 going once. The Hadley Pottery Company. Going twice. She probably could. She probably could. And sold. Yeah, it's a very unique butter dish that is totally appropriate. You'll see, oh, in tomorrow's video, 
I'm doing a house tour. So you will see why this butter dish fits my kitchen so well. You got to be sure and watch tomorrow and see a little tour of all my collections. There's my soul is going to Debbie Delano for $65. Thank you, Debbie. And that also means you've got your $15 shipping credit. All right, next. All right, we're going to ignore the fact that this still has a price on the bottom that I have to take off. So I'll just do that. Uh, so this is a Hope San Francisco Takahashi vase with butterflies. Very 70s, very 70s piece. It's got this little folded design here. I thought that was so unique. Yes, I actually pay somebody to clean this stuff up for the sale. I'm just saying. I told you, it's been a rough week. We've had some setbacks. So there we go. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't like to throw my social media presence around until I really have to. So, but I may come to that. I may come to that. All right, $11 with Puffles, $12 with Melissa. Right, so they have it listed on, because I questioned that. They have it listed on their website still, uh, but they don't have pieces in stock. They still make everything by hand. So, yeah, they're still taking orders for something that they're having trouble fulfilling, which is a little unethical, but what do I know? $20 with Puffles. Going once. And my phone is beeping at me again. Going twice. And we will call it sold. I'm going back. There was, let me just double check on that last item. Cause Debbie, I don't want you. Oh, Debbie, you got that last item for 40. I'm so sorry. I missed that. You got it for 40. Cause you cannot, you cannot outbid yourself. We won't let you do that around here. Yeah, but I've already ordered, I mean, I've already ordered the whole thing. It's the lid that's not made. The bottom's made, the lid's not made yet. That's the problem. Yep, yep, yep. Okie dokie. That is going to Reverend Mary E. Parker. Thank you so much. Okay, this piece was just cool. Um, you know, that's how I shop, guys. I, I don't always know everything about the stuff I'm buying. It just kind of hits me in some form or fashion. And I actually picked this up because um, one of the trends of the millennials is to take your laundry detergent and your softeners and your stuff and transfer them into this kind of a bottle. And then, then it stores more decoratively because they don't have a lot of like cupboards and things, especially like in California, uh, which is was Jordan's thing. Like it was on display. So she used all of these nice, bottles to put her stuff in so it was kind of that vibe that made me pick this up so it is a, a little like a, a decal I guess you would call it whatever that what well, the label process it's not painted is what I'm trying to say and it just simply says ice water with this old-fashioned lady ice skater on it and it's a very very functional usable bottle and it's really good size. Like it's like soda bottle size and the top works better than my hands work. There we go. If I can figure out, there we go. <laughs> so might want to replace this little thing, but it does still seal and it's the ceramic top and then it clamps on like that. We are at $16 with Pat K860. I was actually thinking about using it. And then I'm like, no, that's not how I do. I, you know, I'm, 
not old school. What's the opposite of old school? I'm, I'm guess I'm like new school and it like, I just get the tub of the detergent, you know, that has the dispenser that I just, <laughs> I don't, I don't pour stuff from one thing to another. It's called pyroglazing, like how they used to mark milk bottles. Thank you. That that's very cool to know. Okay. All right. I just learned a new thing. Pyroglazing. Um, what are you asking about, Terry? I those aren't being sold in the those won't be sold in live sale. So if you're interested, you need to email me on those. All right, I'm at twenty dollars with Josh and you. Josh and you is at twenty. And we're going once. See Anne's attic at 21. Not a drinker of hard spirits, but I once bought a vodka bottle because it was so unusual and pretty. Yes, there are some beautiful vodka bottles out there. Belvedere makes a gorgeous bottle. Yeah, some of those liquor bottles can be quite pretty. Going twice. I have working mom syndrome. Could be. I just, I'm ready for a little break this week. It's been a really rough week. I will just put it at that. <laughs> and we're going to call this one sold. Can I mention my buy sell group on Facebook? I've been putting items in that. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely, Jen. Uh, yeah. So, guys, I have a special group over on Facebook called Vintage with Style buy and sell cool stuff. And the criteria of that group, which is different than most, I don't know if there's any other group that does this, but the only place the item that is for sale can be listed is in my group. Like I don't allow cross posting anywhere. It's exclusive items to the vintage with style group. So if you want to come over and find some really cool stuff that's not listed for sale anywhere else. That's the place to be. It is also where Carrie is listing stuff. So for those who watch my videos and see Carrie buy stuff, she's putting a bunch of that stuff over in that group too, because she doesn't have an eBay store. She didn't have an Etsy. She didn't have a store. She just sells at a local antique mall. So I'm convinced her, start putting your stuff in the group for these people. <laughs> All right, that is going to uh, Michelle Whetstone for $22. Thank you so much, Michelle. Okay, this is such something fun. Fun, 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 because we got to have fun. And I can still get this shipped before it gets hot. You're going to get is fun. I said fun, fun, fun. Uh, it is a candle. It's a two-wick candle and a matching bar of soap. These are brand new, never used. They are from World Market. Uh, this candle is for napping. Mid-morning nap, after lunch nap, after nap nap, hand-poured soy candle. Uh, Mountain Dew Sugar Crash is, oh, that, it smells like Mountain Dew. I'm not lying. It's a Mountain Dew candle. <laughs> That's funny. Contains soy wax coloring and fragrance. It's from the Whiskey River Soap Company right there. Right there. It's a beautiful blue color. I can kind of show you the little top there. There's the color of the candle. And the soap is matching. There you go. So you get the matching soap and the candle. It says, smells like my one true love. Seriously. Don't try to come between me and my naps, lest you want cut. <laughs> it is a six ounce bar of soap. I'm going to take the little price tag off of there and show you. These make great gifts too. You know, somebody who likes their nappy poos, then this would be the gift for them. All right. I got Marcy at 20. My mouth is so dry today, you guys.
as some would say, I guess I talk too much. I got 22 for Lisa, 25 for Marcy. All in, all done. We are going to say going once. Going twice. Yeah, Mountain Dew is potent for the caffeine. Just saying. And we're going to call it sold. And looks like that is going to Marcy Ellsworth for $29. $29 to Marcy. Thank you so much. All right. I got permission to sell the next item because it's a horse. And uh, it's a really cool, reminds me of a chess piece is what this horse reminds me of. He's wood. He's fairly lightweight uh, for his size, especially he's lightweight. He is all hand carved. As you can see there, he's got these, it's not cracking. It's like a black, it's like a black mark. And I don't know how that got on there, but it's, it's not a crack. I just want you to know that it's like a little bit of paint. It's got some, uh, it's not felt. It's, uh, I don't know what you would call it, but it's there to keep it from scratching. Whatever you put it. I just have a dead brain today. I just cannot spit out the words to save my life. Oh my goodness. <sighs> yeah. I don't know how they came up with the amount and do for the napping. Maybe like, you know, cause you need energy. I don't know. It does look like a Trojan horse. Yeah, you're right. Trojan horse or the knight in chess. It would probably stand out with a fine grit. I'm sure it would. Neoprene, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I could, I could, I could see that. Oh, what emoji did she use? Did I miss it? Oh, that's awesome. You used the sleepy emoji, the napping emoji. I do appreciate those thumbs up, guys. I know it seems like such a little thing, but it actually does really help the channel to get those thumbs up. So I always super appreciate rubber feet. Why didn't that come to my brain? Because that says it's so simply. Yeah, rubber feet. Because <laughs> once you drink all that sugar, you slump into a coma. Yeah, that's pretty true, too. All right, we're at $20 with Puffles. We're going once. We're going twice. See you later, Kathy. And we're going to call this one sold. With Rachel's blessing. Is the Murano piece that was in one of your videos this week going to be in this sale? I came in late. I don't remember what Murano piece that was, but um, no, it's not. But if you're interested, please see the video instructions for just how to email me if you want to purchase something. Uh, well, that could be it too, Angels Vintage Treasures. <laughs> All right, there is the sold going to Lisa Reynolds. Lisa Reynolds got 25 in there. All right. Okay, we have quite the international audience today. Welcome, everyone. <clears throat> All right, where's my bear people? So we do have Father's Day coming up. I'm just saying. This little guy is so cute. He is a resin. Uh, even though he looks like wood, he looks like carved wood. And he is carrying his little fishing pole there with a fish. And he's got his little basket to put his fish in. He's wearing an actual scarf. 
And that is a planter or a trinket dish, whatever you want to use them for. Maybe a key holder. Ooh, he'd be really cute to plop some keys in, wouldn't he? Um, he is just made in China. I think he might be from a, a line of bears. I, I mean, he looks very familiar to me. Like I've seen this bear before. It's probably why I picked him up. But he's a super cute guy. And he is at $22 with Puffles 65. We're at 22 with Puffles. 23 with Robin. Rachel's trying to keep up with me. They are not, Sharice. They, I did not get them up here in time. Christine is at 24. Puffles is at 25. You have a wine bottle holder that matches. Yeah, see, he's got that very familiar look. Yes. He's such a chill guy with his little fishy fish. 28 with Robin. All right, I'm going to count him down. Going once. Going twice. And we will call it sold. Creels. I knew that, but it's not like, I know it once you say it, but it wasn't, wasn't remembering that right off the bat. It's Creel. I've actually sold Creels. All right. That is going to... Robin Bowser for $41. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. I, and I know I have not been talking about this a lot, and I don't put the logo up there anymore, but I do put a percentage of the sales into the fund for the Niche Foundation, which is the nonprofit that I am in the process of forming. Setbacks. Um, it is going to happen soon. I promise you that. Uh, but I still do put a portion of the funds aside for the Niche Foundation, which is a nonprofit that is to support disadvantaged women and help them build an online business so they can get free of really bad situations. Yes, yes, yes. So we're still doing that. All right. We have an owl. Let's see. Okay, so his little winder, yeah, he's, he, he doesn't want to go. So, there's something a little amiss with his music. So, you're, you're buying him on figurine presents. Just take note. He is by Toll, Toll Fine Porcelain. Um, he would have sang September Song. Had he been working? And I don't know. I mean, you can unscrew that and go in there and um, probably fix that or put a new one in. But I just want you to know it is not working. But he has no chips, no cracks. He's just a wise old owl waiting to be in somebody else's new home. Or not new home. He wants a new home. He's tired of being in a box at Danny's house. He wants a home. There we go. That's how we say that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Debbie, I don't know if you are meaning to put in 20 for this. Do you need to verify if you're going to do a power bid? Yeah, he might be able to. Be. It kind of feels like when I go to wine, he coils back. So I don't know if there's something wonky there. All right, you guys want to be at the 2025 already, so I can count him down. Right on. You just fixed one following YouTube videos. A little patience and WD-40 did the trick. Oh, well, there you go. All right, duly noted. I have no patience, so <laughs> I'm bad at like anything that requires patience because for fixing stuff that nope, nope, nope. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh goodness. Okay, so I've got vintage tiny treasures at 25. Going once. You're fine, Debbie. You're fine. I just sometimes the lag comes in. So I just want to make sure that this is the item that you actually are making the offer on and not like the previous one. Going twice. And we're going to call him sold. Goodness, I'm going to have to pull up some more stuff because we're going to get done way early if I don't. I think, maybe. I'm kind of looking at my spreadsheet going, well, we'll see. We'll see where we're at. And there's my soul that is going to Vintage Tiny Treasures. Okay. Um, I've seen very, very similar made by Blenko, but I don't know for sure. Who makes this little guy? He is a whale. He is an amber glass. And you can see, you can kind of see the light coming through him. So he's he's very well done for what he is. And he's got like that Blanco weight. Probably would have had a label if he were Blanco. Cannot confirm he's Blanco, but he is that style. So he is a little, uh, I don't know why I called him Amberina. Because he's somewhat amber. I mean, the, I really don't know why I called him Amberina because he has no red. And usually you need red to make Amberina. But he's, well, you see, he goes from like dark to light. He's like an orange to yellow. So I guess that's an Amberina, right? Technically, you you call him what you want to call him. I don't believe he glows. I don't know if he glows. Rachel? I know you'll have to stop putting the offers on the screen, but I think they would appreciate it if you would run down to my purse and go grab my black light, which is in my purse. I finally put my black light in my purse, guys, and I will I will stop the video so that you can bring me the black light. All right, we'll see if Rachel can go grab the black light and I can confirm whether or not. Don't run. She can run. She's young. <laughs> oh, good. I hear her doing it. I hear her doing it. I heard her door. She super duper loves the curtain because she can sneak in and know that nobody can see her and, and until she confirms that I have uh, indeed turned off the camera. Don't run. Fly. I have a second one, but I don't know where it is. I should just buy a slew of them is what I should do. I, I can you guys can notice I am not the most organized person in the world. I truly am not. I'm some would say I'm a little scatterbrained at times because I forget things. But uh, I think it's because I'm doing 26 thousand things at once, and my mind is always trying to stay 10 steps ahead of everything. Like even now, you know, I am a. Uh, I am watching to make sure that my mods have no questions for me. I am keeping track of my spreadsheet. And let me stop the camera so Rachel can bring me the black light. Okay. You're safe. You're safe. Oh, you're just scared to burn. <laughs> she's got to say hi to Bougie for a moment. Now she's got to get the curtains closed so that we don't have light. Don't pull them from the side. Nope. Uh-oh. Now she's got to fix the curtain. More, more, more. There you go. Good job. All right. <laughs> all right. Coast is clear. We can turn it back on. All right. After all that, let me see if it glows. It. I think my, maybe after all that, my batteries are dying. I would not say it glows. It just makes it brighter doesn't change the color of it and only on the tail so there you go pilgrim glass does one okay maybe maybe i know i should strategically place them around my house brie i can't find my tote anymore i 
I'm like, I'm telling you, I am so discombobulated still in this house. We're working on it though. We're working on organization, working on organization. Okay. Going once. Oh, thank you, Julie. Going twice. I know Rachel just does not want to be on camera. She just doesn't. And we're going to call it sold. And let's see. Hello, Patty. Oh, I have shown the lamp before. If you go a few, a few Monday live shows ago, I had the, the camera more to where you could see the lamp. I had to change it. Um, why did I change it? There was a reason I changed it. Just lighting angles, the curtain, trying. Oh, I know why I changed it. Because if I had it where I was before, I sat like right here in front of the letters. That's why I changed it. All right, there's my sold. That is going to... I don't believe another offer came in. So that is going to Christine Albert for $29. Thank you so much. All right. And Rachel's back on the job too. Look at that. Any alligator fans? See you later, alligators. I couldn't find a comp on this guy to save my life when I found him and I made the video. Uh, I couldn't find another one like him. So I thought, oh, you're pretty unique and cool. And looking, I thought this was a little fleck of soap, but it's actually, a, he's got a little tiny glaze chip on him, but he has a black alligator soap dish. How cool is that? Here's his tail. So as you can see, the little glaze chip, super, super tiny, but it is there. So like right right there and then there's one like right there you could probably like touch him up with a sharpie he might be a hobbyist piece i don't know it's possible he was you know fired those are the the the, the pin marks where he would have sat on something for the glaze to dry so there you go we've got the black alligator soap dish i've got ten dollars with Michelle. After while, crocodile. Everybody sing it. See you later, alligator. Bougie is quiet today. Bougie is in a bad mood. Bougie spent the morning. I kind of, today was the first day Noah didn't have to go to work. So I lazed in bed for a little while and Bougie lazed in bed with me and Bougie was very grumpy. Bougie's got, so birds get pin feathers. It's like when their new feathers are growing in and they have like a little hard capsule around them for lack of a better term and they get itchy and grumpy and they actually can be a little painful and and bougie's going through that right now so bougie's a little grumpy today i've got gina at 15 i know christine i know i don't even i haven't even looked today to see how close i am to that let me see where we're at how many more Maybe today's the day. Yeah. Well, I need 800 and how do I do that math? 33. I need 833 more subscribers to reach 60,000. Can you guys help me make it happen? If you are not subscribed, can you hit the subscribe button? Because I love to watch that number go up. It's super fun. Keeps me motivated. All right, $16 going once, going twice, and sold. I have a turtle themed kitchen. Yeah, I showed you guys my, my beach themed bathroom. And in tomorrow's video, I'm going to show you my living room, my kitchen, my other, I don't even know what we call it. It's, 
there there is an eBay desk, you know, working area in there, but it's also like our sitting room. And I, I, I finally have the couch with the pillow. Like I'm showing it all. I'm showing it all in tomorrow's video. Oh, thank you, Hummer fan. All right. That is going to Michelle Whetstone for $16. $16. And what do I got next? I know these guys usually come in sets of more than one, uh, but it's one of the it's Chinese, right? One of the Chinese wise men. He is a carved, I think they call this rosewood. You think? Asian items are not my specialty. So forgive me if I call it anything wrong. Uh-oh. I just noticed his little uh his little stick there is um it's got a bobo. He used to have that going up a little little higher. But that's why we start him at a dollar, guys. We start him at a dollar. He's very very lightweight. So if he's the only thing you bought, he'd go first class. You have a bears and outhouse bathroom. That's awesome. That's awesome. He looks like a chess piece. Boxwood. Boxwood. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Noah's room is not finished. I'm a bad mom. I Like I said, this has been the week. I'm so glad this week is over. Wrapping it up with going out and having some fun with my friend Mikey Bags of Money. And Carrie will be there and sunny Las Vegas and um, Mikey's amazing wife, super court Courtney. And we're just going to go have some fun tonight. And if you want in on what's happening, you'll have to go over to Mikey bags of money channel at 7 PM Pacific time tonight. We'll be live streaming. So there you go. You never know what you're going to see Danny do on Mikey's video. <laughs> Seven dollars with Carol. All right, going once, going twice. We have something called First Friday in Las Vegas, and we're gonna call it Sold. And at First Friday, there's a lot of street vendors. There's food trucks. Like I've never been. This would be my first time going to First Friday because I have a little social anxiety going to things like this. So. These guys are pulling me out of my shell and I'm going to go have some fun and I'm not driving. <laughs> so we'll just leave it at that. Going to Carol Bloom for $7. Okie dokie. This is a whistle. He's a whistle. There's his little, there's his little whistle parts. Sorry, Rachel. Did I go too fast for you? My apologies. He is pottery. There's his, his bottom. He's hand painted. He looks like a woodpecker to me as far as his colors go. He's got, there's like a little hole here. So I don't know if like if you're whistling, that makes it change. I'm not going to whistle on him. It would not be appropriate in this day and age. <laughs> yeah, he's super cool. I see M.G. McCartney at seven. Oh, gosh, no, I can't overdo. I can't. Um, I mean, for those that don't know, I have Crohn's disease, so I have to be super careful with uh, any kind of alcohol consumption. It's one of the it's one of the no no's. But I mean, I can't have one. Oh, you think it's a bird call? I don't know. I, because I can't whistle it, Rachel. <laughs> I got $10 with Sonia. Oh, thank you, Terry. It's not me. It's not me. That would be my crew. Gets her done. Gets her done. We're very, very, Mondays are all about getting these boxes out the door. That is, that is what we do. I got $10 with Sonia. The first 10 came in from Sonia. The first 11 came in from Michelle. Michelle's at 11. All right, I'm going to count them down. Going once. Going twice. Going 
and sold. There it is. Uh, it's going to Josh and you. Josh and you, were you, did you? Oh, you did. Okay. Just because yeah, I just have to make sure that you were participating before the just in case. Okay. Josh and you for $17 is the winner. Thank you. Thank you. Uh oh, Jan, I think you're lagging a little bit. Okay. I'm sitting here debating, do I want to do these as choice or all together? Because I thought they were the same. You know what I think I'll do? I'm going to do them all together. So let me just fix my spreadsheet real quick. Because I just think it'll be easier to do these. Because it's really hard to like differentiate. And we don't want, I don't want any shipping errors. So I just changed this to a not choice. These are going to be all together. There are three cow and calf tiles as follows. You're going to get this one. You're going to get this one. And you're going to get this one. So they're going to go all together. Um, so they have different things on the back. They are vintage. This one says Orient with, I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's got like the shield and the lions with the O and the crown. Um, this one says Taiwan. So they are vintage. You make a cute little backsplash, you know, if you put them like all in line there. So you're going to get all three, all three of these Orient tiles with the mamas and the cows. They are Holsteins. And we are at $22 with Gina. $22 with Gina. For the three mama and baby cows. I'm at $20, $23 with Patty. Patty got the $23 in first. $25 with April. They are moveless cows. I'm at 25 with April. Rachel, I hear happy birds in your room. Very happy birds. 27 with Connie. We just moved birds around in Rachel's room. We got a new cage for Gordo, the cockatiel. He's a little stressed out still after being moved. It's always so hard to like move a bird that just you get their confidence back and then you got to grab them and put them into another cage, but uh, it'll be good in the long run. So he's got to gain his, his confidence back. And then um, Scoop and Mango are now side by side and we're hoping they become buddies. But right now Mango is afraid of Scoop because Scoop bit her foot last night. So all in a day's bird story. <laughs> I've got uh, Linda 34 going once, going twice. And we're going to call it sold. Poor little Gordo has had such a rough life. That poor little guy. He's missing part of a foot. Actually, isn't he missing part of both feet, Rachel? Just like one's just worse than the other. Do they make bird muzzles? Oh, Scoop Scoop is our brat bird. Scoop needs a muzzle. Scoop is a brat. He's a super brat. Rachel will be the first one to admit that too, but we love him. We love him. Okay, I have a piece of Raku, Raku Pottery signed Butler on the bottom. There you go. And Butler with a cross. And 
all right, my clean, my cleaning crew, gonna we're gonna have to have a little conversation. They didn't get all the sticker off. There are some scratches on this, um, like a little paint rub where it rubbed against something. And then like these little scratches. And I'm not exactly sure how to take that off. You guys are always so much better of coming up with those ideas than me. But the colors in this Raku are pretty spectacular with the greens and the golds. Really gorgeous quality piece with this copper band around the top here, as you can see. And then there's an applied cross here that looks like it's done in um, um, horseshoe nails. There is a little crack across that one. I don't think they're actual nails. I think it's just in the shape to make it look like a horseshoe nail, which is interesting. There is the inside. And again, there is the signature, Butler. Butler. So there you go. Nice piece of Raku. $22 with Brenda. You can see peacock feathers in this face. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah those are like peacock feather colors on there for sure. Indeed. 23 with Susan. I am at that time of day where the sun is starting to come through my window. Raku is a, a, it's, maybe somebody can explain it better than me, but it's a very, very high heat firing that creates that charred look. And then it has something to do with the glaze they put on that gives it this metallic-y finish. That's the best I can describe it. It's just a, a certain type of pottery. All right, 26 with Brenda. You see cattails. 27 with Becky. You guys see all kinds of stuff in there. 27 is with Becky. Pottery fired in an actual fire. Okay, thank you. There we go. Usually done in a pit. Okay. Awesome. 28 with Tammy. See, 28 with Tammy. Did I lose you, Rachel? Made in lots of it made in New Mexico. Yeah, they made a lot of it down in Tucson. It's a very like Southwest kind of uh, pottery thing to do. Thirty dollars with Becky. Oop. Oh, I got Rachel back. Sorry, Rachel. <laughs> Versus putting it in a kiln. So most pottery is put into a contraption like oven, a very high heat kiln that fires the glaze on. And apparently this is put into an actual fire pit. All right, $30 with Becky, going once. Going twice. Oh, there we go. Ro Raku is fired at a low temperature, then cooled rapidly, creating the black soot look and colors. Oh, so they, so I wonder how they fire it at a low temperature if they're actually putting it in fire. I don't know. I have a friend who makes it. Did I say going twice? Well, I don't remember now, but let's just say I did. And the next thing I'm going to say is sold. <laughs> they're never marked Raku. You just have to recognize it. They're, they're signed by whatever artist, whatever potter made the piece. It's done in a fuel burning kiln. Yeah, I've actually seen pictures of my friend making it though. It's like, it's true. It's put in the fire. So maybe there's different different methods of making it. Because I had a friend who was like part of a club where they, where they made it. And I remember them standing around, like they were saying, like these fire pits where they put it. So maybe there's different, different styles of Raku even. Okay. 
now I got stuff down low that I gotta I gotta get up where I can reach it. Stand by. Okay, I got her. Ugh. <laughs> get back in my desk. <laughs> Open fire is a lower temp than a stone kiln. Okay, well, that makes sense. Well, that makes sense. Right on, right on. I love it. We all learn. Yeah, it looks like it's been in a fire for sure. For sure. Okay, next I have this really fun. She's an ornament, but she's not Christmassy. She is a lady of elegance. Um she reminds me of Barbie. Let's see if I can get rid of the glare of that. There we go. She's in her original box. She's a Ladies with Elegance collection glass ornament. Look at her. She's kind of bougie. You think she's bougie, bougie? No, you're just playing with your toy. I won't disturb you. But uh, yeah, she's very stylish. She's very sassy. She is distributed by AMC New York is what the box, whoops, where did I just see that? It's what the box says right there. Don't, if I can make it, I don't even know why it won't focus just on that. There we go. Kind of. Nope, won't do it. If I stay there too long, everybody's going to say you're blurry. <laughs> She's even carrying this little purse with her. So. This little cover goes on her box and there's a little, there's a little tape schmudge on her thing because, and we got a little, so, so we had to heat up the thing, the sticker to get it off of there. And it kind of shrunk the plastic a little bit. That's where it's a little crumpled. That did happen. Um, probably should have used a goo gone on that one instead of heat. Looks like a Canadian Mountie. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> All right. I have $7 with Mary Spry. She sells for about 25 to 30 on eBay for you resellers. So if you win her and if your intention is to resell, just keep that little note in mind. And we're going once. We're going twice. And we're going to call her sold. She will be going to a new home. And the winner is... There it is going to Tammy Kennedy for $13. Thank you, Tammy. It might just be your phone, Donna. It might just be your phone. Okay, next is going to be a choice. And again, it's do you want one or do you want them both? They are the uh, amazing Easter Island kind of tiki god guys. I know they have another name to them, but they're the Easter Island guys. Now, one of them does have a small, okay, he's got a booger, okay? <laughs> he just has a little booger right there. And I don't know if that's a natural part of the, the, the rock. And it's, it's like a lava rock that these are carved from. It is like lava rock. It's that very porous. There you go. I don't know anything else about them. So your offer is for one. But if you are the winner, you could take them both if you wanted them both. All right. So that's how we're doing that. Kilns are quite precise temperature wise from ceramic to high fire porcelain, electric or gas fire. Okay. Thank you, Kensington. All right, we are at $10 with Jackie S, $12 with Ann. Oh, you like the Easter, the Easter Island slot machine. 
15 with Jackie, 17 with Anne. I played some slots the other night and they were not good to me. They were not good to me at all. So I'm hoping tonight, if we're downtown, happen to hit a little slot action that uh, we can do a little better jackpot. Uh, in, in all, okay. So I, I played a high limit Wheel of Fortune machine that had a $1.3 million jackpot. So I was just, you know, I was like in that moment for just a very short four spins, <laughs> hoping, hoping I would hit a million dollars, you know, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen. So I just went and got some food instead. <laughs> All right. I'm at $20 with Anne. $20 is with Anne going once. Going twice. I'll be sticking to penny machines tonight. And we're going to call them sold. Now, remember, if you are the winner, be ready to tell me if you want one or two. One or two. Looks like it's going to be... I know you can't win if you don't play. I get it. Going to be Anne Nunez for $22. Anne, do you want one or both? Let me know if you want one or both. And if Anne doesn't take, she takes them both. Okay. You got it. They do kind of need to stay together. They're, they're buddies. They are buddies. All right, next. Oh, got a really, really pretty piece of glass. Let me get it up here. Uh, I can't remember if this one is signed. It is signed. Okay, it is signed, but I don't think I was able to figure out what the signature said. Yeah. So we've got this beautiful, beautiful art glass bowl. You can see it's got like some Millie Fior going through there and it is signed. Now, I don't know if that is a signature to be read. Gosh, it's really hard to show you guys. I don't know if you're supposed to read it from the bottom like that. Let's see if I can get it to focus really strongly on that. Ah, oh, there we go. So there's the mark. I don't know who that is. If you guys know who that is, I would love to know who that is. But it's really interesting because it's like they stamped that into the glass while it was still liquidy. Not liquid liquid, but soft, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, don't know. Don't know who makes it, but it is gorgeous. And let me do my really official measure by my piece of paper here. It is about nine inch diameter. It's about a nine inch diameter. I see 25 with Therese. 25 with Therese. 27 with Marsha. 27 with Marsha. Thank you to everybody who came over and subscribed, by the way. Just checked and that number went up a little bit. I appreciate that. 33 dollars with Becky. Yeah, it's got some yellow and white. It's really hard to show. Of course, I'll check it with my black light to see if any of that glows. It does not, it does not, it's not glowy glass. Most glass is not gonna glow. I will just say that. 37 is with Becky. We are gonna count this down. Going once. Is it Donata? 
Hi, Donata. Going twice. And we're going to call it sold. Oh, sorry, Lisa. <laughs> the Justin cases are flying in and it's going to Michelle Whetstone for $45. $45 to Michelle. Okay, this is a deja vu on this one. You may have seen it before and that is because first person didn't pay. Oh, and it still came back up to my office needing cleaning. Okay, I'm telling here, let me see if I can get the schmooze off right here, right now. Because I don't like show, showing stuff with tape schmooze on it. it kind of bugs me. Look at that, I got it off. All right, Oof. okay. This is the Maddox of California, made in USA, 1959 gazelle planter in the beautiful aqua color. It was used as a planter, so there's a little bit of discoloration inside there. Let me just peek what this one sold for before. It sold for $46 the first time, just FYI, just to give you a little, little heads up on that. So, but here it is back again because that person has decided not to participate in my sales anymore. All right, so we are at $30 with Trendolin. 1959 is a good year, okay. 36 with Lisa. I see, there we go, 36 with Lisa. $40 with Trendolin. Are we all in all done? I will count her down. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Hey, Michael. Haven't seen you for a while. And that will be going to Carol Bloom for $44. Your original high offer held out, held out. All right. Here's something a little different for one of my sales, but I just love the colors in this thing. And it's a nice, sturdy basket made from newspaper advertising. And I see the Asian text. So it's Asian newspaper. But the colors are just fantastic on this piece. Look at that. Made very, very well. Very strong. But I just loved the color and I just had a bird fly across the room did this scare you too was this scary okay get over here and I'll lift you up you can you can spend the rest of the the sale on my shoulder so yeah I love that it has handles let me see if I can kind of get a rough measurement on it this is not an exact measurement because I don't have a ruler but I have an 11 and a half and no an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper so I'm going to say it's about 13. I'm going to say it's about 11 by 13 ish. Don't quote me, but there you go. Give you a little, little size wise here. Okay. I have a bird on my foot. <laughs> That's what she does. She gets underneath and gets up on my foot. Like lift me up. <laughs> One of these days, she's going to get smart and just crawl up my leg. You could just crawl up my leg, you know. You don't have to wait for me to get you. 
All right, we're at 31 with Pat K. 34 with Becky. 40 with Kimberly. Did I lose Rachel? No, there she is. 40 with Rachel, uh, with Rachel. 40 with Kimberly. You could tell I'm tired. How am I going to do this tonight? I'm going to have to be kept awake. 42 with Becky. Oh, no, I'm very aware of where she's at. Yeah. He or she, we don't know yet. We're going to get that DNA done soon. All right, I'm at 42 going once. Going twice. And sold. All right. Put you back over here. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come here. Come on. Come on. I can't really reach down there. I'm like, yeah, you're a silly bird. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? You don't know? All right. Would you like a pistachio? All right. You just get up there. Don't poop on me, though. I got to go out tonight. I can't be having bird poop. Although, if I was going to have a shirt with bird poop, this would be a good one because, you know, it would be hidden. I just totally grossed half of you out, right? That is going to, uh, it's going to Becky Thompson. I'm sorry, Pat. Once we get over, did you ask for it? Once we get over $50, we need $5 increments, even in the just in case. Do you want this? Do you want some pistachio? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okie dokie. Let's see. All right. I got one more choice. You going to like hang out there or are you going to go to the back of my neck because you're going to get scared by stuff? These are relatives of yours, Bougie. You have relatives. Did you know that? <laughs> Bird poop is good luck. <laughs> All right. Did you don't get any ideas? Okay. Don't don't get any ideas. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I have another choice. Again, it's do you want one or do you want two? I have these adorable little uh, owls by Andrea by Sedeck. There we go. I have two of them that are identical. You can take one or you can take the pair. There is the bottom and the mark. And they come on a little wood stand, like a so, like a so. They can look into your soul. Is Mikey, is Mikey still here? I actually found these when I was out yard sailing with Mikey bags of money. And there you go. You might remember these. You might remember them. I've got Therese at 15. Or, yep, Teresa 15. Thank you, Michelle. Yep, yeah, there he is. You remember these, Mike? I think you pointed them out to me. Pretty sure you did. I've got 21 with Sonia. Oh, Tracy, you have some lag going there, my friend. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. 24 with Christine, 25 with Peg, 25 is with Peg. I bet you would. You totally would. All right. We're going to count it down. What you looking at? What you looking at? Going once. Going twice. Oh, thank you, Kimberly. And sold. Thank you so much for that super sticker. I really appreciate that. 
And the winner is, oh, I'm pretty sure Super Court's going to be there tonight. And was her birthday today or yesterday, Mikey? Do I have a, what are you, hey, don't eat my clothes. What's this new eating my clothes thing you're doing? I need my clothes. Uh, oh, there's the soul. I totally missed it. Okay, so the winner is Carol. Carol, did you want one or both? One or two? You shop the day of. <laughs> well, we, we still get to celebrate it tonight, though, right? She takes them both. All right, that's awesome because they're such the cute little pair. I don't know. Why do I hear snapping? What is on my shirt that you are snapping? I don't think I like the sound of that. I would prefer you not be like tearing up my clothes. No, I really would. I really would prefer you not be tearing up my clothes. All right. I found another one, you guys. I found another one. It's another bluebird of happiness. Um, this one is a Leo Ward 1999. Signed on the bottom and has its original sticker there. It shows the Terra Studio. What? What are you eating on my shirt? Little bird. <laughs> I just hear this munch, 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 munch going on back there. Just chewing on the, the hem of my shirt. All right. We have the blue bird of happiness. Here it is. With its sweet little, sweet little self. Are you coming back now? What? Do you want some more pistachio? Hey, do you like this? Do you like this? Do you like this? What is it? Oh, doesn't like it. <laughs> it's a bird. Oh, you don't like it? You don't like it? You don't like that bird? It's happiness. <laughs> Bougie's not a fan of the uh, bluebird of happiness. <laughs> All right. We are at $41 with Anne. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Here's a bad little bird. Here's a bad little bird. Yes, you are. Would you like some more pistachio? Would you like another bite? Would you like another bite? Want this? Stop. What? I don't know what you're doing with my shirt here. Do you want this? Yeah. Here you go. Here you go. All right, going to Ann Nunez for $46. Okay, so my last item before I start giving stuff away. I have this nice creamer, and it is a false graph, I believe. Is it? Yes. Made in USA. So um, false graph started to get made in other countries like China. So the made in USA stuff is the better stuff. There is the mark on the bottom. It's a little hard to read. That's why I had to look at it for a minute. It actually says creamer, 024, false graph with the little cactus mark. So it's an older piece. It's got this nice ombre kind of dark brown into a tan, nice and clean on the inside. Would be great as a creamer or put a little plant in it, put a little flower arrangement in it a little something something in there so this is our last item and i'm going to give some stuff away how long have we had bougie since december and bougie was how old rachel when we got i think you were born in november i think so i think you were i think so yeah so bougie's still a baby and acts like a baby Bougie was hand raised by the breeder that oh, we got him from. Yes. 
really don't know why you feel the need to eat my top. Like, I, I don't understand this. What's going on here? What are you doing? What? Are you, why? You're like, so intent on it, too. Goodness, I'm feeling a little violated, bougie. Just feeling, just feeling a little, little insecure about what you're doing over there. We have twenty-one dollars with Christine. Twenty-one. It's a Quaker parrot. It's a Quaker parrot. Maybe. Yeah, they don't really. They don't have teeth. Birds don't have teeth. <laughs> but they grow. They grow pin feathers. Is what they do, and uh, that makes them grumpy. I've got 23 with Donna. All right, we're going to count it down because I want to give stuff away. Going once. You were just, look at, you're like showing them a bra strap and everything. Don't you even come at me. Don't you come at me, bro. Going twice. This got you in trouble this morning too, you know. And we're going to call it soul a little bit, Faith Robin. Um, not so much on command yet. Hey, can you step up? Can you step up? Can you step up? Step up. All right. We're going to show them. We're going to show them that you uh, ask for your pistachios, okay? Do you want this? Do you want it? Yeah. Yeah. Lazy talker. Yeah. Do you want this? Okay. A little bite. And you got to do it big. You're on camera. You're really a super messy. I don't appreciate the mess. Would you like to try again? You want some more? Yeah. Yeah. Never on command, right? Yeah. Oh, you see the birdie in the uh, monitor, don't you? <laughs> he sees himself. Do you want this? Focus on me. Do you want this? Yeah. You got to say it. Yeah. We could be here all day waiting on an animal to do something on command. You get it when you say it. Gotta say it. Say yeah. At least give me the, at least give me the yes. You want it? Don't look at that. You want it? Want it? You want it? You want it? You're not that hungry. Like You're just like, oh, come on. Everybody's as soon as I turn the camera off, it'll be all over. Yep. Yep. Do you want this? Do you want this? Yeah. Okay. That's saying, yeah, but she's being very, very lazy saying it. So I, I'm trying not to reward the lazy. I'm trying to make her say it very clear. But she'll say um, boop because Carrie has taught her boop. And she will say hello to Noah in the morning. And it's really funny because she says it in Noah's voice because he comes in here with his little deep voice and goes, hello. And she'll, hello. <laughs> so. Okay. Here's what I got for giveaways today. I'm sorry. Did that scare you? I have an assortment of Wade figurines. Uh, I'm not going to let... You know, I'm not going to go through like each one and, and do each one separate. But so I'm going to give a number and I have. Hold on. Let me count how many I have. And what's going to happen is if you are a winner today and you are still here and put the number in when I give it, you're going to get a free goodie. That's how this works. Uh, hold on. Stand by. Okay. I have. I have 12. 
I have 12 of them to give away today. So the number for today is going to be 55. So the first 12 people, if you put the number 55 in, and you must have been a winner today, I'm going to stick one of these cute little Wade figures into your package. No worries. Let's see. All right. There we go. I'm sure we have our 12. So Rachel or Melissa are just going to help me double check and make sure that everybody I pick was indeed a winner. So Michelle Whetstone, Tammy Kennedy, Vintage Tiny Treasures. I don't think Love Out of the Blue purchased something today. Natalie Robillard, Rob Robillard, I'm sorry. I am super bad at pronouncing names. Um, Lisa Young, I think I remember your name. Uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Reverend Mary E. Parker. Lynn Comble. Becky Thompson. And Nunez, Lois Egan, Connie Wright, and did Linda Martin, was Linda a winner today? Let me just double check. No, Linda Martin, I don't have you down as a winner today. I do have Trendelin though. Um, so Trendelin is in there. And let me just double check. I don't have Lisa Young either. Lisa Young, uh, you were not a winner today. But Gail was. So Gail, that puts you into that position. So I think I got the top 12 there. Right? My moderators are going to keep me straight. My mods will keep me straight on that. Um, wait, 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 hold on. Oh, you did win. I'm so sorry, Love Out of the Blue. You were a winner. I am so sorry. I missed that. I don't know why I thought someone else won that. My bad. Okay. Um, that means I'm going to have to throw something else in since I called another winner. So I will... Just add another line mods and I will throw another uh, freebie item in there. That was my bad. That was my bad. Of course, you. if you pay, you're going to receive it. And I promise you that. Okay. So Melissa's, Melissa's typing her little, her little hands off over there. <laughs> hey, this is why I don't try to do this alone, you guys. This is why I have moderators. This is why I have people to help me because one thing I have learned in this business and any business I've ever done is you must have a good team around you to be successful. So um, kudos to my amazing moderators. I hope you guys will give them a little shout out and a thank you over there in the chat. I know Bougie's eating my top. I don't understand it. Uh, I really kind of like this top too, Bougie. So I really wish, can you stop? Stop. Stop. Step up. No, don't. No biting. Ow, ow, ow. No. Step up. Yes. Stop eating my clothes. It's so rude. It's so rude. Do you want to be a rude bird? Are you trying to be a rude bird? Everybody's watching you. Look at, there's a bird right there. Look at, there's a bird. There's a bird. There's a bird right there. You see that bird? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't want the bird. Wants to go back to eating my blouse. So I should probably finish up here while I still have some clothing left. <laughs> All right, you guys. So again, Monday will be live thrifting from Dog Junkies where you can purchase things 
if you see me pass by something you want, it is your opportunity to yell at me through the computer and have me not pass something by that you would like to purchase. That is going to happen at 1 p.m. Pacific time, which is 4 p.m. Eastern time on Monday the 7th. Uh, so we've got that coming up. But uh, tonight, if you want to just see what happens when my camera's off, you want to head over to Mikey Bags of Money's channel where we will be live from the first Friday downtown Vegas. And who knows what we're going to do? Who knows what crazy trouble we're going to get into? But you can watch it all live. You can watch it all live. And I think I that's it. I think I've announced everything. So with that, <laughs> you go be profitable. And I really wish I could make you say this. Maybe someday. You did. You. Oh, there's a beadwork. Oh, there's a little silver chain and he got it off. That's what he's been obsessed about. I didn't even know that. You broke my blouse. You broke my blouse. You broke my blouse. No more. No, 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 no. Okay, I gotta sign off. Go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. I gotta go fix my blouse now. <laughs>